So this is my view on a classroom. This is how I would like my classroom to be set up one day. Um, I really liked Piaget's theory, the principal goal of education in the school should be created should be creating men and women who are capable of doing new things, not simply repeating what other generations have done. So I want to be the reason that we that our generations are changing and I want my classroom to be not like um, the old classrooms or even classrooms nowadays. I want my classroom is going to be new and innovative. So the setup of my classroom, I would prefer desks that I can put in groups because um, I like group work. Um, then it, it could be modeling good behavior, um, but they can also be moved into roads if we need to. Um, I would prefer to have the big balls as the chairs for a simple distraction while the students are, you know, learning or taking notes just to bounce up and down just to keep them keep them moving. The focal point will be at the front of the room just like any other classroom though. Um, the climate. The classroom cl climate is very important. You need to make sure every student feels welcome. Positive classroom environment. Um, that's very, very important. Um, it includes the classroom layout, a student-centered classroom, positive behavior management, Mutual trust between you and the student. A safe learning environment. You can't have a bias of boys to girls or any biases in your classroom at all. Um, cultural sensitivity, so you can't, like, you have to be careful with the words that you say and uh, just respect other people's cultures. Um, you have to have the ability to draw out each student's special talent, and that's very important because you have to make every student feel very special. Um, positive climate will reflect in the students' actions, so not just in the classroom, but at home and in their social lives. Uh, so you need to grab their attention. Um, I watched this video. On the first day of school, you're not just going to go and you're not just going to say, well, hello students, please take a seat. What did you do over the summer? No, you need to get their attention and get it now. So if your students are lacking the content they are about to learn, um, what impact would they would it have? Who knows? So don't teach about the topic, teach for the student. The students need to feel the benefit of the content you're teaching. Show benefit, create, create a desire. Where is the desire? Where there is desire, there is attention. And I know that firsthand. So preview your material. Um, keep them dangling on that little fish hook. Um, teach with VAC, visual, audio, and kinesthetic, so you're hitting every um, group of learning. And then I created this video. This is for a first day of school type of thing. So, I went and made that little thing up for, um, like a first day of school type thing to get their attention, to make them excited for the school year, not just for the day, the day of class. So, at the first day of school, you also need to know your rules. Establish your rules early and keep them posted. Follow through with your discipline plan. Don't have a soft spot just for certain kids or anybody in general. Refer to them when necessary. So, 
Billy. Um, you need to quit tapping your pencil and quit poking on other kids. You know, refer to them when you need to. Everything you do reflects on your classroom. Um, so if you have misbehaving students in the hallway, they're probably misbehaving in your classroom, and that means that no one's that they're not learning what they need to be learning at that time. Um, almost all classroom behavior is learned, so learning involves change, involves changes changes in behavior. Behavior changes as a result of its consequence. So, if it's good behavior and reward it with uh, positive reinforcement, you're going to get good behavior in return. Um, behavior is also influenced by classroom context. Have a method of teaching. Make it a good one, um, so that they know what they know what they're gonna earn from learning. Don't just give them something useless. Uh, make the teaching and learning both of them need to be memorable. So when they're getting out of hand, when violent behavior is present, you must take action. The older they get, the worse. It's more male oriented than female because males are more rambunctious. They have more energy than females. Uh, try and reduce aggression. Uh, children in the early ages uh, need two basic things from their teachers. Knowing that the teacher loves them and providing guidance and dis discipline when they make mistakes. Um, allow, always follow through your discipline plan and re refer to the office when you need to. Keep your discipline plan posted and refer to it as much as you need to. My classroom. Personally. I will take everything from this class into consideration when managing and creating my own classroom. Not only will I be a good teacher, but I will be an effective teacher. I will create and abide by a philosophy that I create from the heart. I will be, I will be the best teacher I can be. This is my the philosophy that I've been working on lately. Um, I will pave their paths. I will assemble their stepping stones. I will conduct the noise. They will paint my path. They will guide me. I will play the sounds. They will play the sounds. Together we will create a highway. Together we shall not get lost. Together we will perform a beautiful symphony. Thank you.